So I think, is this where Chloe's mum works, if I remember right? I feel like it was where her mum works. Two Wheels Diner. Open 24 hours. Alright. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. She looks busy and stressed. Are you okay? Hi. You look... Lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. Um, I just got off. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. I'm sure you don't. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay and- No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Can we speak to this guy? He looks like a photo of the classic art. Running late, grab a booth at a diner. Mum will feed you. Somebody better, I'll be lucky if you make it Katie by now. Bay, crusty fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did good. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. See? See the Prescott family again. And th this is why I need to stand by that decision I made with Kate. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Uh, they own my school. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. I mean, okay, that's twice we've been... Sorry, I was just thinking about, like, in case people think I'm unfairly judging Nathan because we don't have proof against him, but we've now heard from Chloe and Kate that he's been involved in basically two suspicious drugging incidents of women. So it's just finding the proof. So after being forced to listen to Victoria and Taylor rag and Kate about the video, I headed back to my room. I didn't really have any time to chill out. I had to get dressed and find Kate's book in my own mess, rushing all the while not to not be late for Chloe. As if things weren't dramatic enough, I got a creepy text from a private number. Nathan? Victoria? No clue. I really have to start watching my back. I still had to give Kate's book back, so I went to her room. I knew she wasn't doing good, but I didn't know how bad it until I went in. All the lights were off, blinds closed, like some more goth den, and Kate is the opposite of Emora goth. She was just crying in the dark, and it was so sad to see her like this. More sad is that I wished I could take a picture of her framed in her expressionist misery. Okay, seriously? <laughs> Kate admitted that she thinks something more happened to her than just the video. Plus she told me that Nathan Prescott gave her a ride from the party to the ER. And she thinks he did something to her, but she doesn't remember what. It's hard not to believe Kate considering what kind of person she is and what kind of person Nathan is. I've seen for myself exactly what that fucker is capable of. Of course, Kate asked if she should go to the police and the principal. I felt like absolute shit. Yeah, you're telling me. But I told Kate she shouldn't go to anybody until she has more proof she was drugged. That video doesn't help her case at all, and this could all backfire big time. She's going up against the whole Prescott empire, not just one rich white boy in dope. She wasn't too thrilled by my answer. I don't think she trusts me to be the one investigating all of this. How can I blame her? I sometimes wonder what I'm actually doing, besides getting myself in more trouble. Kate even booted me out of her room. Hello, everyday hero. I ran into Warren, or rather Warren was waiting to run into me. Naturally, he wanted to know what the hell happened in the parking lot with the... with... The Chloe and Nathan, sh the Chloe and Nathan show. Once again, I felt like a dick because I should have gotten a, a hold of Warren to see if he was okay after we just left him in the lot. I do owe Warren. I only told him a little bit about what was going on with Nathan. The less he knows, the better for him. 
I would love to at least tell him about my ability to fucking reverse time and space, but ironically, I don't think it's the right time or space. Besides, he would want to marry me immediately, just so he could have his own human time machine, or capture me for scientific experiments, or make me go to the drive-in with him. Oh wait, he did try and make me get me to go with the drive-in with him, and I refused. I'm not really in the mood this week, and I also don't want to lead him on. Before catching the bus out to meet Chloe, I saw Nathan talking to David, which made me nervous. Otherwise, I had a nice soundtrack ride to the Two Wheels Diner, with the soft tones of Miss Cashnell. Talk about going back in time. I haven't seen the diner in five years, but it looks exactly the same, although now there are way less fishermen. And way more dumped food carts than when we were kids. Chloe and I had the best backdrop to play pirate. Old ships in the big ocean. Um, we looked at that, didn't we? Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Okay, back off. And let's go in the diner and meet Chloe's mum. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. So we've got some more missing posters are for Rachel. Oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. 25th annual Happy Halloween Bazaar. Mayor Cochrane leads a kiddie caution parade. Great pumpkin carving contest, local vendors and food trucks, tricks and treats. Oh, and Happy Halloween. Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Prescott Development invites you to live within the woods, pan estates, affordable luxury homes, forest, ocean and lighthouse views. Coming soon to change the way you live. I always wonder what people think about when I eat alone. Oh, really? Because when I eat alone, I'm, I'm sitting thinking to myself, I hope people aren't looking at me thinking I'm weird. And it's dubbed this weird lady. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Okay. I will. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. This guy has serious cojones. Uh, join the Custius <laughs> All Day Sea Adventure. Now charter the legendary seaman for your own ocean voyage, Jack Cousteau, and his undersea worlds. You've seen him on TV, read about him in the news. A local captain, fisherman, and marine expert with 30 years' experience will take your group on a three hour tour of Arcadia Bay's lush and exotic aquatic kingdom. Jack will not only explain the importance of our marine life to the ecosystem, he'll even help you catch and prepare your own fish from the sea. Daily and weekly excursion rates 75 to 125. For further details, please visit our website, seacustalfish.gu. Why does that so not sound fun? Explore Arcadia Bay the right way. Discover exciting history in the high sea. Journey in total safety and comfort. Fully equipped 40 to 50 foot vessels. Um, I would do it. <laughs> I might make Chloe check this out with me. Sasquatch field trip. Explore the wild woods of Arcadia Bay with respected cryptozoologist Chuck Pierce Jr. Author of Bigfoot, Myth or Shines, and Bigfoot, Once or Sasquatch. Narrator of the documentary, Bigfoot, I Believe in You. I guess that answers whether Bigfoot, Myth or Shines, because he believes in him. Join Chuck every Saturday and Sunday for a full half day of hiking to the sites where Bigfoot is most likely to appear. Chuck will share his extensive knowledge of lore, legend and fact and you will end the day casting your very own Bigfoot print based on an area known only to Jock Pierce Jr. For more info, price and detailed schedule, please contact Sasquatch Lives at wildtracks.gu. The poster? the poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Blackwell Academy, global excellence in arts and science for over 100 years and counting. Three campus tours. Kate Marsh, love you long. Ugh. That graffiti has been here forever. Flush before pissing on floor. So someone's um, graffitied about Kate Marsh. Rachel A owes me a BJ. So does your mum. Gross. Yeah. Gross. What does this say? Fire something. Firewalk with me? Well, we've got a picture of it anyway. Okay. Um... I've looked in here. I really need to sneeze. Arcadia Gay sucks dick. 
Thank you, redneck poet. Oh, I, I smacked my head off my microphone when I went to sneeze. Good job, me. Good job. Ew, that guy looks unpleasant. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Okay. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. Okay, so David Madsen... Was I saying Madsen earlier? Anyway, he wants to be a cop. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Uh, I'm hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now oh, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Uh, let's talk about David. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Um, he has a reputation. He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. Uh, let's talk about Chloe. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Okay, who told you? Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? Uh, yeah, I know her. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. No. No, I think she's just had some bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. I think Chloe would rather destroy. But I'm just a cop, not a psychologist, so... Let's talk about Joyce. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Well, today, my friend, we are going to approach a park, a sketchy parked vehicle. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Uh, everything is an eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. I like her already. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. <laughs> Bet your coffee's better just like you are, my friend. Drool. Want everything. Oh, fuck. I, should, I shouldn't be recording um, before I've ate breakfast myself. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Two Bales Diner Fishing Awards winners every month. White Sturgeon caught by Dick Weber. Steelhead Trout caught by Andy Berry. And Chinook Salmon caught by Rick Conrad. Man, I'm hungry now. <laughs> All right, I want to talk to Joyce. How do I talk to Joyce? Or do I have to do, like grab a seat or... I think I just have to... Oh, there's more people. Justin is such a mellow dude. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. Oh, let's be friends. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, 
I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. I want a friend that laughs at every one of my jokes. Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I just said that. <laughs> yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. Oh, you'd be surprised. Now. You would be surprised. Okay, seriously, like, okay, there's a booth I can sit in. I want to go outside to the creepy van. Oh, TV. Coming up at noon, KBay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So stay tuned to KBay 7 News for the real story. Okay, now I want to go out to the creepy van. I best spoke to him. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Okay. Just wanted to talk, but sure, okay. Okay, so he said parked RV, didn't he? Don't talk to the guy in the parked, by the parked RV. Or in the parked RV. So let's talk to the guy in the RV. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Uh, stop that. Stop. No barking. Oh, we can't. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Well, let it be known, ladies and gentlemen. I tried to talk to a creepy stranger and it would not let me. Hi, can we talk? Oh, there's another person. I just want to talk to everybody. Newspaper. I wonder if they explained that snow. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! Um, well the snow was odd. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm sunny day. Ugh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Rachel Amber? You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Oh, so we can we can see this? Nope, like, I don't oh. want to go there. I was like, can we seriously explore? No, we can't. Well, I tried. Back to the booth. So it's the booth at the end, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, no, this one. Okay. Hello, Joyce. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call... Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. 
I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Uh... He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So... Now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? <sighs> Tough choice. Oh my god. I'm having a breakfast yet and you're forcing this on me. Bacon omelette or Belgian waffle? I think I'll have to go oh, for the waffle. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Oh, I could go coffee as well, actually. Ah. <sighs> Food would be so good right now. One Belgian waffle for the hunk. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Um, I mean, I don't know what the exchange rate is. Breakfast cheeseburger, five twenty-five, seems quite good for to me. Morning glory waffles, four fifty. What's the Belgian waffle? And fried fish is eight seventy-five. I just wanted the waffle. Um, coffee is one fifty. Tea's one dollar. That I mean, that seems all right to me. Good girl, pronto. One Belgian Nerd one. graffiti. Warren, I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. This mug was here when I got here, so I'm not really sure I should. This is like it. fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> It looks like you had plenty. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. Take a picture. Take a selfie. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Take a selfie. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. Oh, we've been through this. Your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh, God, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. <laughs> Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. <gasps> That's just cruel. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Oh, there was supposed to be music. Now that that's out of the way. 
Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's <laughs> in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Um... Chewing gum? Some old chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. I mean, I didn't rewind time, so... That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Oh, well, now we know, actually. Cigarettes, money, and... Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. So we'll get keys, cigarettes, money, and a warning ticket. For... yeah. Okay. If I could turn back time... Sorry, just adding music to the atmosphere to the game. Oh, yeah, I forgot I could hold shift to the mind faster. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. It's... Panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Uh, cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. Oh, shit. And how many cigarettes? Um, I think there was 13. 13 cigarettes. I smoke too much to have 13 yeah. cigarettes. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Do I have to rewind to do that again? Oh. Hold on. I'm going okay, to Max. write things Study down. Every item carefully I need a pen. Don't forget anything. That's eyeliner. That's that's not quite uh, what I want. Panda. Panda. Oops, I need help of... I've done the thing. Okay. Panda. Keychain. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cigarettes. Seven, six. Um, is it going to ask me how much she has? Because I'm bad at math. I'm scared. Uh, two cents, three cents, four cents. A um, couple quarters. Well, one, two, three. Three quarters. Oh my god, it would help if I could spell as well. Um, and five cents as well. I really hope my math is right for this. Oh wait, there's other two cents as well. Oops. Okay, I'm on this. And warning ticket, see, South East Franklin Street. I have no idea what it's going to ask for this. 9, 21, 13, your date format is so wrong, I don't like it. Um, 10.34 a.m., registration, <clears throat> is that Twin Peaks, her registration? Um, and out of parking bay. Okay. <laughs> Imagine it won't even ask any of this. Now we're okay, alive. how do I rewind again? Chloe's mind. I can't remember how to speed up rewind. Oh. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm <sighs> hella ready. Okay. Keys. Your car keys. No, way that. too easy. Um, Panda. A cute rope. Not bad. You do have that Irish look. Okay, cigarettes. I'm pretty sure. Yes, you know I'm- You've got seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? You've got money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Uh, I calculated 86. 86 cents. 
That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. I totally know math. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Amazeballs! I literally just got chills all over my neck! You have powers! I do! Told you so. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Um... Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. So Joyce is walking with coffee, Oops. and she dropped it. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill oh, no. for you. He dropped it. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and that guy's about to fight. He's going to be late for work. Weird ladies went to the bathroom. Oh, I shouldn't rewind just yet, I think. That's the best song I've ever This heard is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind okay. and tell Chloe everything that just happened. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Uh, trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Um, his partner leaves, or, I know he said he needed to go, he, he doesn't leave, he answers it, doesn't he? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he answers it. Well, let's just see how this goes down. No, that's not right, is it? Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce stops him. Justin and Trevor are fighting and... Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And... Trucker plays a new song. I didn't see a cockroach on it. goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Was there a cockroach on it? Maybe I missed it. Alright. La 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 la. I wish I could speed up time. Okay, Joyce... Is walking. Mug drop. Did, Did you right? break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think dick. not, Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Oh, a cockroach does go on it. Okay. Yeah, because I didn't see anyone there. All right. This is a That's sad day in Maxwell. This is sure the hell better than that. Can I rewind? I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just okay, happened. Okay, we're rewinding again. La 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 la. Speak. I'm going to predict. Okay, we know. Um, trucker drops his mug. The trucker. So, what happened? It doesn't leave. His partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes. Um, Joyce stops him. Jo this is getting good. And Jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. 
The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. Okay. Looks as if I got it right this time. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait, really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. <laughs> this isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use Screw it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Girl, oh my god. Yeah, I would never do that. On me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. <laughs> uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. I would better pee, Joyce. I did say I was gonna pee. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. I wanna pay Joyce. I guess I guess we're not paying. Um, can I like leave money here for Joyce? I think I'm ready oh, for well. But you're only on your first. Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my, my secret place. Plans ahead. Don't even answer. Your stomach is stuck places to go to do, do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. I need to answer. Hey Kate, what's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. I feel like we should tell her. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. No, I'm not going to do that. It's not like I won't see her in class later. 